Hello, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, so in the last video we discussed vices and uh, the options that you have there. Now, there's lots and lots of tools on the market for time flies, but there's only a few essential tools, or what I would call essential tools, that you'll need. So, you're definitely going to need a bobbin holder. Now, there's lots, I mean lots of different choices and uh, I did do a review on bobbin holders a while back on my blog and I'll I'll find that and leave a link in the comments below. But they, they go from anywhere from a tenner to a hundred or pounds, believe it or not, for holding some thread. But yeah, that's uh, how they roll. This is a CNF one. Uh, the points to note with this, it, it, it's quite a nice bobbin holder. It sits a ceramic tube inside a steel thing. It usually comes with a foam insert. I've taken it out for just easy use because what you had to do in the past was insert a, a bobbin threader through, put your thread through, but it was a bit of a pain. So I took that out and it worked perfectly well, just as is. Uh, I'm not sure how much these are. Uh, I can't recall, but they're, they're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But you do get your normal run-of-the-mill ones this has got although it may look like a cheapie it has got a ceramic tube on the inside and that's the only thing I would say to be wary of when you're buying bobbins please make sure you get them with a ceramic tube because often the, met the metal ones get a little burr on them and after a while of tying the thread just snaps and it becomes a really unpleasant experience time flies when the thread's constantly snapping even though you're taking the greatest of care. So uh, this one's about a tenner, it, it, it does just exactly the same job as this one, funnily enough. So that's the bobbin holders. The next thing that I would say is essential is scissors. Now I have got lots of pairs of scissors. I usually have three pairs on the go. Uh, I have best, so these are my best at the moment. And then as they get a bit bad, I'll buy myself a nice new pair and they'll become what these are now, which are my seconds. So seconds is for cutting foam. Um, if, you're, if you're using this Vivas GSP, I cut that with this because it blunts the scissors really quickly. So you need two pairs really, a best and a second. Uh, I also have a third pair which I'm ashamed to show you and I, I'm not going to show you actually but the point's broken off and they're covered in super glue but you need them for scraping off bits and bobs and they're just dead handy to have around and you'll probably see me using them over the coming months. The next thing is a dubbing needle. Uh, this is a bought one, I think it's Stoneflow, I can't quite recall, but I really like this, I, I bought a couple of these, it was only about six quid, so very reasonable, but you'll find one that you like. Before this, I used to use a piece of dowel with uh, just a darning needle in it, and that done the job for me. Another thing that we're going to use is hackle pliers. Um, this is a bit of an indulgence, this one, um, it's a CNF one about £20, it broke my heart to pay for it but I'll just really get on with it, it's very light so if you happen to drop the um, the tool while you're winding a hackle sometimes you can get away with it, other times you don't but you know you've got to take the wins when they come so hackle pliers, you'll definitely need a set of them a whip finish tool Ooh. I don't use quick finish tools, uh, I don't like them, and I've tried every type there is, I just can't get on with them. So I don't, I use half hitches and then finish my flies that way, but a lot of people will tell you you've got to be able to use these. Good luck with that, and I, I'm sure uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos showing you how to use a whip finish tool. Uh, I always have a bit of a lump of wax, it's just to start off my, my fly, so I either put a little thin layer of super glue on the shank of the hook or I'll run the tail end 
through the wax and that just helps bed it in on the shank. And last but not least, I got I picked this tool up last year. It's basically a, a deer hair comb, so if you're stacking deer hair you comb out the rough, which is handy, but I've never used it much. This bit though, it's uh, just a bit of Velcro stuck to the back of plastic and uh, it's really useful and I like the shape of this one and uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I don't know how much it was, uh, not much, very reasonable. But before this I used to use a lollipop stick with uh, just a bit of Velcro stuck to it and that, that worked quite well. So that's what I would call the essential tools and last but not least you're going to need some either head cement, UV varnish or Sally Hansen hard as nails just to finish your fly off and you can pick this up at Boots the Chemists if you're too embarrassed to go and do it yourself get your wife or daughter to go and get it for you but you will um, use lots of it so uh, make sure you've got a steady stream of supply so that's the essentials um, the next, the next time we come back I'm going to talk to you about hooks uh, so that we're all on the same song sheet as regards to what I'm blethering about when I start to tie flies. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.